Hello. Okay, I'm going to show a few ideas here now. I'm going to open my DAW, which is Reaper. This is the program I would use to basically record um, everything that I do, MIDI and audio. For this particular trial, what I'm going to do is, or what I have done, I've recorded already two dry piano tracks. And I've panned these left and right. Now these two tracks, as I say, are recorded directly in from my Yamaha P105. Recorded through my Focusrite USB 2A2 audio interface. The two channels are panned left and right. Effects are all disabled on these tracks, so everything is completely dry. Okay, now the effects that I'm going to use for this particular trial are being routed through the master channel. I'll just bring these up for you now. Now the four effects are JS Filters Low Pass and Re-EQ. The first two effects, now they come with Reaper. The low pass filter I've used more or less for it's, it's to cut out those hissy signals, any little bit of noise that's created, and those are the settings I would use. Rear EQ, this comes also with Reaper, and I've used the close mic acoustic setting. Kept the standard settings, nothing adjusted. PSP piano verb, the next little unit. Okay, this is something a little bit special. Um, this is very unique. This unit is designed to recreate the sound or the resonance of the piano inside the piano casing itself and it works for me it works perfectly and these would be the kind of settings i would use here now there's two versions of psp piano verb this is the first version version one and it's free of charge to download okay moving on glace verb this is something i would highly recommend also free to download glace verb can be used for many applications vocals vst instruments Pianos, um, basically anything. There's a wonderful selection of settings on it. I use Piano Natural Wet. I find this gives a, a warm sort of resonance to the piano. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is, with the effects all disabled, are enabled here now on the track, I'm going to play the piano track. Now, as I say, this begins off as a dry piano, recorded direct from the P105. Okay, a simple little track, something fairly basic. But as you can hear, the piano sounds quite nice. Um, it's more or less the kind of sound that you would hear in a mix, more than a solo piano. It's a little bit too dry and too digital sounding for me. So what I'm going to do in a minute, I'll uh, enable the effects and I'll let you hear the difference. That's the effects enabled. You can hear the space. You can hear it creates that, that width. Especially if you're wearing headphones, you can hear the, the huge difference between the dry piano and now what I would call the acoustic piano sound. Naturally, it's not exactly what you would get um, when recording an acoustic piano, but it's as close as you're going to get uh, from a digital end. And for me, it works perfectly, especially for the solo pieces. Okay, that's the effect switched off again, just to let you hear the difference. Well, look, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. It's quite simple and straightforward, but you can download all these effects. They're all listed there in the description of the video. The links are there. Download them, give them a try, mess around and see what sound suits yourself. There's loads of different settings within each um, reverb unit. And as I say, I recommend downloading Reaper as well too. As a DAW, it's, it's wonderful. Okay, I hope you enjoy my music. I'm going to play this track out for a little while. And as I say, check out my other videos here on YouTube, uh, my music videos. And uh, don't forget, 
My album Forgotten Road is released now on the 17th of February. Thank you. Goodbye.